30 labor unions all across Metro Atlanta are raising awareness about concerns about workers in this economy. A tough economy for people too, and they're fighting for what they call livable wages, expanded benefits, and collective bargaining. Joe Ripley here in studio with us now. And Joe, these workers that you met with, met with several political candidates as well, hoping that their demands are heard come November. That's right. These labor unions held a rally, then a picnic today. Some key members told me workers' rights are very much at stake in the November election, now just 65 days away. Labor Day isn't just another day off for Gabrielle Saylor Moore. This is my holiday, right? So this is my Christmas. The second generation electrician is part of the Labor Union International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. A lot of your life is impacted by the quality of work that we put in. According to the Department of Labor, Georgia has a record low unemployment rate right now of 2.8 percent. Same goes for Metro Atlanta. That's almost a full percent lower than the national rate. Labor attorney Gary Freed credits Atlanta as a major transportation hub with easy access to seaports and the world's busiest airport. We've really got a lot of educated people moving to metropolitan Atlanta and living in metro metropolitan Atlanta, and that bolsters the service sector. But slowly rising wages aren't keeping up with record high inflation, leaving people like Sailor Moore wanting more. Our number one concern is making sure that families have living wages, have health benefits that can support our families, um, and basically being able to retire after we use our bodies for work. You gotta be able to use your collective strength to get a fair deal. Senator Raphael Warnock spoke at a union picnic at the United Auto Workers in Hapeville Monday, promising to support the Protecting the Right to Organize Act, which would expand workers' rights to organize and collectively bargain. And your commitment to improving the working conditions, safety, and protecting the dignity of work gets us closer to ensuring that workers can share in the prosperity that they create. The PRO Act would also weaken Georgia's current status as a right-to-work state, which makes it more difficult for unions to wield power. While the economy seems booming for Georgia, Sailor Moore says there's still plenty of room for improvement. That's all really people want. People want to make sure that the con contribution that they're giving, that people are honoring that contribution. And coming up at 6, what gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams is proposing and what experts believe might be holding Metro Atlanta back from additional economic growth.